Hello, welcome everybody. So I am going to do a quick Giving Tuesday training today and then we will wrap up Giving Tuesday and move on to other subjects um, for the other trainings that we have going on here. So this is gonna be a, a, a quick one today. I just wanted to make sure that you have some quick tips and tools as you start planning out your campaigns. So what I wanna talk about today, and I started this a little bit in the chat in the group, is I really want you all to think about, um, kind of like dream up. What would you do if you were able to meet your fundraising goals for Giving Tuesday? And in the group, I gave a dollar amount to that, and I said $100,000. So I want you to start kind of vision painting what you would do if you had an additional $100,000 in your organization's bank account, what would you do with that money? Now, if you are thinking, I would pay the rent, I would pay this utility bill, um, you can see how that might not be the most compelling message to your donors. So if that is exactly what you would do, then I want you to think about, okay, what could I accomplish? Um, what could my organization accomplish if we were able to pay our bills and um, move forward in that way? So I want you to, you know, if it is those kind of more general operating, then think a little bit broader, like what could I accomplish? What could my organization accomplish with um, an additional $100,000? And again, even if that is paying the rent, um, that would relieve a burden off of you so that you then could put on your programs in a more comprehensive way. So when you're telling your message, um, again, you want to think of that outcome piece. What is this organization doing and how are we changing the world essentially? So as you're dreaming up what you would do with that $100,000, then I want you to think about putting that information into your Giving Tuesday campaign. So again, if it is paying the bills, then I want you to be more outcome focused of what are the outcomes that you would be able to um, uh, have, you know, if you did have this extra funding. And then that's the message that I want you to rely on in your Giving Tuesday campaign is that outcome piece. Like, wow, this is what our organization can accomplish with your help. And another piece to that is when you are putting a campaign together, um, they are typically a little bit more successful if you are able to have a very specific ask. Like if you give us $100, this is what we could do or would do with that money. If you give us $1,000, this is what we could do or would do. And I say could or would because I do think there's a little bit of leeway here. You don't want to be disingenuous and do something totally different than what you've asked for. That would be unethical. Um, but you could frame it in a sense of this will help our organization by X, Y, Z. And you know that you are going to buy that thing, whatever you're asking for, but you might not necessarily take that exact $100 and put it towards this thing. As long as you do do that in some capacity, that there is truth in your message, um, then I, I think that's okay. And again, think about that when you're creating your campaign is, is this actually truthful? Is this what we would do with that money? And if it's not, if it is more that general operating, then I need you to say things like, this is what we would be able to accomplish with this money, like that outcome focused again. Um, so just a few things to keep in mind as you are preparing your campaigns. Um, and then I, I think I had mentioned this in another one, but um, it's always good to, to hammer this message in that anytime you can tell the message of your ask 
through people. That is what is going to really relate to people, pull at their heartstrings, and at the end of the day, get them to give. So if your organization is a service organization serving people, then can you gather a quote from somebody that you serve and really get at what their experience was, how you helped them? And if you're not a person serving organization, like maybe you are an organization with the environment or something of that nature, you can still tell your story through people. So tell the story through the executive director, tell the story through a partner that you work with. Um, You know, I'm just kind of brainstorming off the top of my head, but let's say you are um, like a recycling center, I I get a quote from someone that works there on what your impact is. (laughs) So anytime you can have those kind of connection points person to person this is what our organization does and this is how we change the world Um, and telling that story from a personal lens is going to make your message just that much more compelling and another tip here is you can really rely on your board of directors so when you think about who all you can reach with your organization Think about you need to reach more people, you know, getting your message in front of more people and more eyes um, just really will improve your giving, just kind of any type of sales, you know, not that fundraising is sales, but just the more eyes on your organization, um, the better. And so I really like to rely on board of directors because they can bring in their networks. Ask them to reach out to their networks, to post on social media on behalf of your organization. And I think a big reason why people don't do this, or maybe you ask your board of directors to do this and then they don't follow through, would be that they just aren't quite sure what to say. Um, They're probably a little bit uncomfortable with asking and again, they just don't know how to put that message together. So give them a script, write out a script and have that script say something like, I give to such and such organization because they do this or again that like because and that outcome statement because they serve so many people, because they're changing the world in this way. So if you could give them a script and they can obviously change things up, make things personal to them, um, I think that that really goes a long way in actually getting them to follow through on um, reaching out to their networks. And then when people do reach out to their networks and they have this script, and you have started to develop your campaign through emails or a letter, you can just repurpose the messaging in your emails um, or your letter for social media or vice versa for your letter to the emails to social media. And so you might be thinking, well, what if they see the same thing here and then they see the same thing here? I think that's okay because it's really showing consistency on your part It's showing that you do have a consistent message. And at the end of the day, people just don't see everything that you are putting out there because, you know, maybe they didn't read one email, but they might have scrolled through social media or they didn't see your social media, but they happened to open your email. Um, People are just, you know, really not taking in every single thing that you are putting out there. So it is okay to repurpose things and use that same message like on a different medium of, you know, email to social media to to letter. And just the last thing I want to talk about is if you want to go deeper here, I do have a course called the Giving Day Jumpstart where I walk through lots of different strategies, proven strategies to raise more money for Giving Tuesday or your specific Giving Day. 
and I also have templates in there. I have a template um, for your board of directors for language there um, and various additional templates there and again proven strategies to double and triple your Giving Tuesday gifts. So let me know if you want more information on that. The price until um, November 1st is $87. And then on November 1st, it goes up to $157. So if you are looking for additional Giving Tuesday support and additional strategies, um, check that out now so that you can get the discount and start putting your campaign together. Another piece with the Giving Day Jumpstart is if you do purchase that, you will get 30 days access to the Fundraising League. And what the Fundraising League is, is a different theme in fundraising every single month with additional trainings, a group call where we talk about your specific programs and implementation, and a community feed where you can even submit your work for feedback um, and ask all the questions that you might have. So lots of really personalized support for you for implementation. Um, and again, that deal is through November 1st, um, or I should say through October 31st on November 1st um, is the day that, that it's over. So I hope that you check that out. And if you have any questions, please send me a DM or respond um, in the comment section below. All right, have a great day.